Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, top readers. Welcome back to English course. And you are now in lesson 5, procedure text. In this video, you are going to learn more about procedure text. You are going to learn what procedure text is, function, the structure, and the language features. But before that, do you still remember the character in the lesson introductory video? Yep, it's Noi. She bought a coffee maker. Uh, she bought a coffee maker machine, and but she didn't know how to operate it. So she found the instruction book, then followed the step by step in operating it. Well, uh, the instruction book, or uh, we also called it a manual instruction or user guide is a kind of procedure text. It is helpful for people to understand how to make or to do something. Uh, you may also find the procedure text in tips and tricks, uh, DIY or do it by yourself, and the recipe books. And here is the example of uh, instruction book or instruction manual so what is the procedure text well the procedure text is a text containing goal and steps on how to make or do something and it is used to tell how something is accomplished through a sequence of actions or steps. The procedure text consists of goal, materials or ingredients, though it's optional because uh, it is not required for all procedure text. And the last one, steps. Steps are uh, Steps is a series of instructions oriented to achieve the goal. And let's see what is the language features of the procedure text. So when you compose uh, a procedure text, you will need the use of present tenses, which is including uh, imperatives and action verbs, then uh, adjectives to form noun phrases, and numbers to show the sequences. Let's see them one by one. First is uh, present tenses. Uh, this includes imperatives and action verbs. For example, here I have two sentences. First, uh, crack an egg into a bowl. So, crack here is an imperative. Yeah. And then the next example, draw a smaller circle on colored paper. So, draw here is an imperative. So, you don't need subject uh, before, uh, before this word. Yeah. So, this call imperatives. Then, you may, you may also use adjectives to form noun phrases. For example, a small circle. A small circle is a noun phrase. Yeah. Noun phrase, this noun phrase consists of adjective small and noun. So, small here, describe the circle. Describe uh, the noun circle. So, we call this one as a noun phrase. A fresh red chili. The word fresh and red are adjectives because they describe the noun chili. Some big green apples. Big and green are adjectives. They are describing the noun apples. Okay, so here is the last language features in the procedure text. Numbers to show the sequences. You may use one, two, three, four, five, and etc. Or you may also use first, second, third, or at first, then, next, and finally.